Um, welcome to this session, uh, which is covering executive education within the management school. It's part of our postgraduate open day, which is going on all week. Um, uh, and there are different sessions happening uh, where we'd usually be drifting around the build our lovely new building, but um, we're doing this virtually at the moment. Um, so thank you for your time. Um, for me, just a few sort of housekeeping notes. We are recording the meeting so that it will be available to people who can't attend this morning. Um, if you have any questions, um, either just flag them, raise a hand, put them in the chat box, or we'll have plenty of time after this short presentation to, to answer your questions or to talk one-on-one -on -one, um, with you if that's, uh, if that's helpful about your particular queries. Just to introduce who's here on the call, I'm Jo Calum. I'm the Director of Bespoke Exec Executive Education Programmes, a bit of a mouthful, um, and I lead on the executive education provision for specific organisations um, within the management school. My colleague Paulette Swindell is here. She works with me, she's a teaching fellow who works with me in bespoke um, programmes, but also across executive education, including um, our postgraduate certificates um, and master's programmes in leadership and pro professional practice. And uh, my colleague Sarah Stedman, who is our um, recruitment person for executive education. Um, so we'll just have a brief presentation that lasts probably only about 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then if you have specific questions, very happy to answer those. So just to give you a bit of background for Lancaster University, um, we are a gold teaching standard rated um, university. The teaching excellence framework is a na nationwide framework for the quality of our teaching. Um, and we rate gold, which is the highest of rating in that. Uh, we're consistently um, in the top 10 of the three major league tables for universities um, or campus university, as you know. Um, we are, our undergraduate and postgraduate programmes are world ranked. Um, we score very highly for our research um, underpinning of our programmes and our research activity. We're quadruple accredited, so that all those um, pictures at the bottom of the slide uh, are different accreditations for, um, so that AACSB is the um, uh, association of um, schools of business. The AMBA accreditation looks at business schools, uh, uh, MBA uh, accreditation, that's a global accreditation. Equus and Small Business Charter look at our business, um, uh, our, our business interaction. Um, and we have a network of over 70 entrepreneurs in re residence who come from a broad range of um, uh, businesses and business sectors. We also have leaders in residence um, and those are senior leaders um, both nationally and internationally who work with the management school um, and both the entrepreneurs and the leaders work with us um, to provide masterclasses, to provide some teaching on our programmes and are there um, in a, a more informal capacity to, to um, liaise and, and work with our students on, on some of our programmes. So to give you a bit of an introduction to our education, uh, ex executive education, so we specialise in work-based learning. Um, and we look at training and development for practising managers and professionals. We work locally, globally and nationally. We have partnerships with some international universities overseas um, and we have partners um, both in the region and, and nationally. So those are organisations, but also other learning and development um, organisations that we work with as well. We excel particularly in management learning and as well as business and management research. And we have a wide variety of study options available to you. So we would define executive education as, as ongoing um, professional development for people in work. So whether you've got one year or 10 years um, professional experience in, in your workplace, um, we have options available for you. So they, they range from a taster course, which might be um, the very kind of first steps in towards uh, ongoing study with us, right up to a, a full master's degree. So something like the senior leaders master's degree apprenticeship, which we run at the moment. Um, and that's a master's degree funded by the apprentice levy. So sm large businesses who pay the levy can um, send their employees. And there's also a scheme through which small smaller businesses who don't pay the apprenticeship levy can access unspent levy from larger organisations to take advantage of that course as well. 
So our teaching and learning, so this is our pedagogical underpinning for our programmes, our approach to, to how we do executive education. So for, um, for many years, our provision has been um, principally online, uh, and that's self-facilitated, self-directed. Self that allows great flexibility for when you want to, to study with us. Um, our, as we were saying, the underpinning is the work-based learning. So, so that prioritise how you're applying learning in the workplace. So not just uh, learning for its own sake, but at all points through our studies, um, we'll be asking you to reflect on and to, to explore how the learning you are acquiring is being applied with, in your workplace and what's changing as a result of that. So really, in terms of um, speaking to, to you know, your managers or, or internal conversations about um, what study you might do or whether for your own interest, um, the application of your learning is, is a really critical part of the way we design and deliver our programmes. As part of all of our programmes, you'd be assigned an individual learning mentor. Um, and for the longer postgraduate um, schemes of study, so that's a postgraduate certificate up to, up to a master's, you would also be uh, enrolled in a module called personal learning and development. That's an ongoing module that lasts for um, up to a year. Um, Paulette, who's here on the call, um, leads on that module. And that, um, Paulette, do you want to say a little bit more about that module? rather than me do it for you. <laughs> That's You're fine. much more expert in it than me. Yeah, I mean, we designed this module really for um, first year students. So people that are embarking on a postgraduate certificate with the eye on the full masters. And the purpose of the module really is to build confidence because a lot of our students um, have not been in formal education for a long time. Um, and they might even just have A-levels because we do accept people on our postgraduate programmes without a first degree. So we get quite a range of students that come, you know, with that trepidation of being a university student, um, thinking about how they're going to tackle an academic assignment. So that module is really focused on three areas. And um, the first area is to build confidence around learning. So we really ensure the students have that confidence to actually translate um, their studies into practical application in the workplace. Um, we also focus on personal development because we believe it's not just about being on a leadership course that makes you a great leader. It's actually about you personally developing yourself by building your self-awareness and really reflecting on how your behaviours have impact on others. And then towards the end of the module, we really sort of help you shape your career aspirations in terms of thinking about um, your CV, how you present yourself at interviews, should you be thinking about the next career step ladder and also things like you know in these days what your um, social presence is in terms of LinkedIn profiles so we really sort of by the end of the module we get you to a mature um, student position and professional position for you to think about the next steps in terms of really mastering your learning if you're going on to full mastery with your masters or exiting with a PG cert but with real confidence on your focus on your career so, so that's that's the underpinning ethos of that module and it, students really value that that's really helpful. Thank you, Paulette. Um, and I think just just to emphasise, so our, our programmes are um, very accessible. So if you're entering a formal, so a certified um, a qualification, there are some um, criteria that you would need to meet in order to, to do that kind of postgraduate study. But some of our other um, non-accredited programmes are obviously open to all. But we do really support people who perhaps either don't have um, a previous degree or who haven't been in formal study for some time. Um, to join our programmes and, and the approach that, that we take su supports you in that um, process. So you'll be relieved to hear we don't have exams. Um, the assessment that we have for our certified programmes, for, for our postgraduate um, programmes, is assignment based rather than exam based. Um, and uh, you're supported um, through that process by our learning mentor. Um, and you know, there'll be a lot of um, additional learning support around you available within the management school if you haven't, for example, done a lot of academic study recently and academic writing is something that, that perhaps doesn't come naturally to you or, or feels a bit rusty. Alongside the online um, and self-directed study, we also have a suite of um, interactive workshops, which are usually between half a day and a day, um, and they run several times through the year. Um, each one will, will run more than once through, throughout it, throughout the calendar. Um, and these are around specific areas 
which are related to um, the modules that you will be studying as part of our postgraduate programmes. Um, and they cover everything from um, entrepreneurial skills to financial strategy. Um, we have a women in leadership um, workshop uh, and a range, um, a range of, of other topics that, that are kind of related to your to your study. One of the other aspects of our postgraduate programmes is that we have a process which we call APEL, the accreditation of prior learning. And that allows us to look at your previous study, so study that you may have acquired um, elsewhere, or also that you may have acquired through experience, so not um, uh, learning that you've acquired through your, through your work experience in your workplace or in your previous workplaces. So that's experiential learning. This can allow you to save time and money by um, effectively it offers an accelerated route through our programmes. Um, so for example, on our master's programmes, um, if we if you have some additional um, leadership experience that you may have acquired in work or whether you've done some previous leadership study, we can work with you to map that across to the study that you would cover um, as part of our programmes. And you would go through this APL process, um, which would allow us to bring a certain amount of credits into the programme. So, for example, on the master's programme, you might you could bring up to half the full number of credits. So that would cut the amount of time um, that you would be studying down by half by 50 percent. Um, and there would be a similar reduction in the fees as well. So particularly if you're looking for um, certified studies, so postgraduate certificate, diploma or master's, and you have experience um, in the area that you're wanting to study, um, please talk to us about that. It's it's a very um, uh, it's a very beneficial process, um, but also one that people find um, surfaces a lot of the experience they already have um, and can be useful in, in, in its own right. So this just gives you an overview of the range of project uh, courses and programmes that we have. So a taster might be a day, uh, might be um, a day broken up into our sessions to, to be done at a flexible time to suit you, um, right up to an, uh, a full master's degree. So we have the master's degree and the master's degree apprenticeship, which is the levy paying version of the master's degree, which gives you a dual um, apprenticeship and a master's degree. In between that, we have um, a wide variety of different steps of uh, of learning very much tailored to to your own aspirations so what you're what you're wanting to achieve um, the time and resources you have available and also matching that to the um, uh, the desired outcomes that you're looking for for your further learning and development very happy to go through these individually with with people after this presentation or to um, answer questions about, about them um, either in this format or or to have a, a separate discussion individually can I just add in something, Joe, um, onto this sure. in terms of, yeah, and um, the other thing to add to this is that, you know, um, apart from the senior leaders, master's degree apprenticeship, all the programmes are very much bespoke and tailored by you. So the, the timeline that you see in front of you um, is an indication of how long it might take to do those qualifications. But, for example, the postgraduate certificate, we can negotiate that you can and make your programme last two to three years. If, if you're self-funding, that can be quite attractive. So at the start of your programme, um, you can negotiate the timeline for these. And the, the times that you see here are just indicative of how long, you know, if you did your modules back to back, it would take. But you can negotiate and pick and choose the modules within the qualifications as well, which is quite attractive to students that want to spread the learning over a longer period rather than being quite condensed. Oh, and you can also tailor the content of the modules. So, so part if you enter one of our postgraduate programs, part of that process is um, is looking at designing the the learning journey that you want to follow from the large range of uh, modules that we have available. So you can tailor it very much to your um, to your own interests, to your to your areas of um, expertise, and to think and to the areas that you're wanting to develop in. So this just covers a um, really an overview of um, some of the areas that, that we uh, that we cover in our um, in our modules. I'm going to skip through these fairly quickly because I'm conscious of wanting to get to questions. 
as part of our postgraduate programs, you would um, you would do a work based project. So that's something that's a live project. So not all um, business school programs would have this. Some business schools use a more of a case study approach. We use a very much an active work based project approach where you would take a live business project, sometimes in discussion with your line manager, but something that we've identified and agreed is is a is a current um, work project and to, to um, to do either a 20 or a 60 credit. So that's in terms of the scale of the project, uh, work-based project as part of your programme. And we're finding what that what that does is, is that um, really enhances the integration of your learning back into the workplace um, and also supports if you're not self-funding, if you're looking for support from your organisation, this can really support that discussion about around the benefits back to the organisation of your study. So this looks at the... Um, Paulette, do you want to speak to this slide just in terms of the, the range of um, programme areas that we that we particularly offer in postgraduate study? Yeah, I mean, um, you'll see the titles in front of you um, in terms of some are very specific in terms of the, the title of the qualification that you would exit with, um, for example, leadership and management or organisational development, medical leadership. And within those, um, we're very we're quite specific in terms of the modules you might have that reflects the title. Um, if you if you come into the programme and you just want that professional personal development with lots of flexibility around your choice of modules, the two that we point students to is professional practice or professional development. And um, both of those are are the same in terms of you can pick and choose the modules that suit, except that the professional practice one would integrate a project. If you haven't got the opportunity to do a work-based project, and within your organisation at the time of doing your qualification, we point students towards professional development where it's just basically picking six modules to make up the 60 credits. And that one's really attractive for people that aspire to move into a not quite there yet. So they haven't got the opportunity to lead a project or lead a team. They can pick more of the skills based modules um, as an entry point into progressing to further masters. And we find that um, for many people that are aspiring junior managers hoping to move into a more senior role, it does open those opportunities when it's coming for job interviews because you're still on a master's pathway, um, but you can pick the modules that you can attack the assessments with in terms of not having that direct leadership role at the time. Thanks, Paulette. This is an example of how one particular area of our courses so in coaching and mentoring um, we can follow you can follow through from um, a small taster which might be a sort of entry point to see if it's an area a subject that you're interested in and that you like um, uh, the, our approach and and can introduce you back into study um, this there's, there's an introductory taster course this can move into to 10 credits, so 10 week modules uh, of, of self facilitated study, and then you can use those to bring bring those credits into a postgraduate certificate. Um, so it's, it's a really nice stepped process from something that's uh, relatively small and low cost into something that is certified that brings you out with a, a, a relevant professional qualification. The Senior Leaders Master's Degree Apprenticeship um, there's potentially in, is changing somewhat and we are waiting for further information about how this happens. But if you're a levy paying organisation or you're interested this, in this, I'd suggest having a separate conversation with us around that particular um, degree. We also offer specialist programmes um, using uh, some of our exp academic expertise around the, the management school. Um, our Gulf One lab um, offers um, econometrics short courses, and those are very much for um, uh, finance specialists. Uh, we have people from across the world attending those. Those are um, face to face or online, and they happen once or twice a year. Just to show you, um, I think this, this one's popped out of order. So this is just a, um, a testimonial from um, Chris, who did our Masters in Professional Practice. So that's the Masters that Paulette was just speaking about, that's very flexible in terms of its content, um, that does include the, the, um, the project um, that we were mentioning. Um, and it, as you can see, one very happy student. 
So um, just an out, uh, explanation of our fees um, and then some other programmes which are related to, to the executive education provision. So our executive MBA um, is, uh, is recruiting for, Sarah, you'll have this right, 2021 entry. Um, that is our um, distance learning MBA. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. So, so the executive MBA we're recruiting for January 2020 and also October 2021. Lovely, thank you. So the only um, reason that I've put that on there is just if anyone was interested, there is a, a similar session to this taking place on Wednesday, um, just so that you know, really. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Um, we have an international master's of practicing managers. That's a global programme that's run with um, four other partner institutions across the globe. And that's very much for people who are um, wanting to kind of understand how business works with a very global perspective. Um, that's a, a leadership programme. And our business growth and collaboration um, programmes look, look at um, small business um, programme provision. And that's us for now. So um, moving into questions. So I'm not sure, we probably don't need to record past this point. Paulette, did you want to add anything at this stage? No, I think that was quite thorough. I think everyone's going to come with their own questions. So I think the Q&A is going to be quite useful. Um, and 